Have you ever noticed your legs swelling a little at the end of the day and thought, maybe I just sat too long? What if I told you that tiny change could be your kidneys crying for help and most people never hear the warning until it's far too late? Kidney failure doesn't come with alarms. It doesn't shout, it whispers through signs so ordinary that even good doctors sometimes overlook them. And when those whispers are ignored, they can quietly turn into something life-changing, even life-threatening. I'm Dr. Johnny, a board-certified kidney specialist, and over the years I've seen too many people who looked perfectly healthy until the day their test results told a very different story. The truth is kidney failure often hides behind common symptoms you'd never link to your kidneys. But once you know what to look for, you can catch it early, protect your health, and even reverse the damage before it's too late. So stay with me because in the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal the three silent signs of kidney failure that almost everyone misses. One of them could be happening inside your body right now without a single hint of pain. You might look down at your legs one evening, see a little puffiness around your ankles and think, it's probably just from standing too long. But what if that small swelling isn't harmless at all? What if it's your body's way of whispering that your kidneys are struggling to keep up? I've seen it countless times in my clinic. People ignore that subtle swelling for months, even years, until suddenly it isn't just a little puff, it's a full, heavy ache that doesn't go away overnight. Take Robert, a 62-year-old retired teacher. He told me, Doc, my shoes just started feeling tighter. He thought it was because of age or maybe eating too much salt. But when we ran his tests, the truth hit hard. His kidneys were leaking protein into his urine, a silent sign of damage that had been building up for years. That harmless-looking swelling was his body waving a red flag. Here's what's happening inside when you see that puffiness, your kidneys are supposed to filter waste and balance fluids in your blood. When they get damaged, they start losing a vital protein called albumin. It's like the sponge that keeps water where it belongs. Without enough of it, fluid escapes into your tissues, especially around your legs and feet. That's why pressing your finger into swollen skin leaves a dent like pressing into a marshmallow. Now, not all swelling means kidney trouble. Sometimes it's your heart, liver, or even a blood clot. But here's the critical mistake many doctors stop at checking your heart, and if that looks fine, the kidneys get overlooked. And that's how early kidney failure slips past unnoticed. Studies from the National Kidney Foundation show that nearly one in three adults with leg swelling linked to protein loss actually had undiagnosed chronic kidney disease. That's millions of people who never realized their tired legs were really tired kidneys. So if your legs or ankles feel heavier, or you notice your socks leaving deeper marks than before, don't ignore it. Ask your doctor for two simple tests, a blood creatinine test and a urine albumin test. Together, they can reveal in minutes what your body's been trying to tell you for months. And remember, our kidneys rarely cause pain. They don't scream, they signal softly. That's why catching the first whisper like swelling is your best chance to protect them before it's too late. But just knowing this isn't enough because the next warning sign is far sneakier and it fools even experienced doctors. Let's talk about it. Earlier, we talked about how swelling in your legs can be a quiet SOS from your kidneys. But what if the next warning doesn't show up in your legs at all? What if it's hiding in your urine? This one confuses even good doctors because it looks like a simple urinary infection, but it's not. Let me tell you about Maria. She's 55 active, always on her feet. She came to me saying, Dr. Johnny, I keep getting urinary infections, burning cloudy urine, even a little blood sometimes. Antibiotics help for a while, then it comes back. But when we looked closer, her urine cultures showed no bacteria at all. Zero. That's when alarm bells rang. It was an infection. It was her kidneys leaking protein and blood due to inflammation inside the filters. Something called glomerulonephritis. Here's what happens. The kidneys filtering units, tiny clusters called Glomeruli are like coffee filters. When they're healthy, they trap the good stuff and let waste pass through. But when those filters get scarred or inflamed, they start to leak. Protein and red blood cells slip into the urine, creating that cloudy or cola-colored look. The body reacts as if it's an infection, but it's not. It's your immune system and kidneys quietly fighting a battle inside. And this isn't rare. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, more than 20% of patients initially treated for recurrent UTIs without bacteria are later found to have underlying kidney disease. That's one in five people being treated for the wrong condition while the real damage continues beneath the surface. 
Here's how you can protect yourself. If you've been told you have urinary tract infections that never seem to grow bacteria, or if you keep getting antibiotics without clear lab results, ask your doctor for a urinalysis and a urine protein test. These simple checks can reveal whether there's blood or protein leakage signs that your kidneys, not bacteria, might be the real problem. And please don't feel guilty if you've missed this before. Even doctors sometimes mistake it. The key is awareness. Once you know this sign, you'll never look at recurring infections the same way again. Because sometimes what looks like infection is actually inflammation, and the difference could change your entire treatment path. But only knowing this second warning sign still isn't enough, because the third one is even more deceptive. It's something most people notice every single day, yet almost no one realizes it's a red flag from their kidneys. And this last one, if ignored, can determine whether your kidneys recover or begin to fail. So far, we've talked about swelling in your legs and infections that aren't really infections. But there's one sign left, one that most people see every single day and never think twice about. You might flush it away without realizing it could reveal exactly what's happening inside your kidneys. I'm talking about bubbly or foamy urine. Imagine this, you finish using the bathroom and your urine looks like it's filled with tiny bubbles like someone poured a bit of beer or soap into the toilet. You walk away thinking it's normal, but when those bubbles don't disappear right away, when they linger and coat the surface, that's not just air. That's protein escaping from your bloodstream into your urine, a silent sign that your kidneys filters are leaking. I once met a patient named Thomas, a 48-year-old engineer, who came to me completely shocked. Dr. Johnny, he said, I feel fine. I just noticed my urine looks foamy lately. No swelling, no pain no fatigue, nothing. But when we ran his labs, his urine was loaded with protein and his creatinine levels were double the normal range. He had early stage kidney disease and didn't even know it. Here's what's really happening inside your kidneys are millions of microscopic filters called nephrons. They're designed to hold in the good stuff like protein and let out waste. But when these filters become damaged, the tiny gaps widen and protein molecules start slipping through. The result, foam bubbles, and a sign that your body is literally losing part of its strength because protein is what builds your muscles, supports your immune system, and keeps your body balanced. Research from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases found that consistent protein leakage in urine, known as proteinuria, is one of the earliest predictors of kidney failure even before creatinine rises or symptoms appear. In other words, if you spot those persistent bubbles early, you're catching the problem at the stage when it can still be reversed. So what should you do? Simple. If your urine looks unusually foamy or bubbly for more than a few days, don't ignore it. Don't blame it on dehydration or water pressure. Ask your doctor for a urine protein test, albumin to creatinine ratio. It's a quick, inexpensive test that can reveal early kidney damage long before pain or swelling appear. The earlier you act, the more kidney function you can preserve, and that could mean the difference between a long, healthy life or years of dialysis. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How could something so small, like a few bubbles, mean something so serious? That's the cruel trick of kidney disease. It doesn't shout, it whispers. And if you learn to listen early, you can change the outcome. But only knowing these signs isn't enough, because the real power lies in what you do next, how you protect your kidneys starting today. And in just a moment, I'll show you exactly how to take control before it's too late. You've now learned how swelling strange infections and even tiny bubbles can quietly reveal what's happening inside your kidneys. But there's one more sign that often creeps in unnoticed something so ordinary that most people chalk it up to age stress or just a busy life. I'm talking about unexplained fatigue, that deep dragging tiredness that no amount of sleep seems to fix. Let me share a story that still stays with me. Kevin, a 59-year-old construction supervisor, came to me convinced he just needed more coffee. He said, Doc, I'm exhausted all the time. I get home, eat dinner, and I'm out cold before the news starts. At first glance, nothing seemed off. His blood pressure was fine. His heart was strong. But when we checked his labs, his creatinine was rising, and his kidneys were filtering barely half of what they should. His tiredness wasn't from age. It was from toxic buildup in his bloodstream waste that healthy kidneys would have flushed out hours ago. Here's the science behind it. Your kidneys filter around 150 quarts of blood a day clearing waste and maintaining balance in every cell. When that function drops, toxins like urea and creatinine start accumulating. 
These toxins blunt your energy, dull your focus, and even trigger anemia because damaged kidneys stop producing enough erythropoietin, the hormone that tells your body to make red blood cells. Without those cells to carry oxygen, your muscles starve for energy, leaving you exhausted before the day even begins. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that more than 35% of people with stage 3 kidney disease list chronic fatigue as their first noticeable symptom long before pain swelling or any change in urination. Yet most of them never link it to their kidneys until it's almost too late. So if you wake up tired even after a full night's sleep, if you find yourself needing naps, losing focus, or feeling drained for no clear reason, don't just brush it off. Ask your doctor to check your GFR glomerular filtration rate and hemoglobin levels. Sometimes the smallest lab number can explain the biggest mystery why your energy feels like it's fading away. And here's the thing, when people finally treat the cause, not just the fatigue itself, but the kidneys behind it, their energy returns, their clarity sharpens, and their quality of life transforms. I've seen patients go from barely making it through the day to hiking again, laughing again, living again. But only knowing this still isn't enough because protecting your kidneys isn't just about spotting the warning signs, it's about what you do next. In the final part, I'll share how to take control starting today with small daily steps that can help you rebuild kidney strength, lower creatinine, and live longer naturally. After fatigue, most people assume they're done with the warning signs. But there's one more, and it's perhaps the most dangerous because it hides in plain sight high blood pressure. You see, most people think high blood pressure causes kidney disease. And that's true. But what they don't realize is that sometimes it's the other way around. Kidney disease silently causes the blood pressure to rise. Let me tell you about Sandra, a 61-year-old nurse who came to see me after her blood pressure spiked out of nowhere. She said, Dr. Johnny, I've eaten healthy my whole life. I don't even add salt. How is my blood pressure suddenly 170 over 100? We ran a few tests and her results shocked even her. Her kidneys were only filtering at 55%. They weren't removing sodium properly, weren't balancing hormones like renin and angiotensin, which control blood pressure. Her kidneys were literally creating their own storm inside her arteries. Here's the science. Your kidneys and your blood vessels are in constant communication. When your kidneys sense less blood flow, sometimes because they're damaged, they release hormones that tighten your arteries to keep pressure up. It's a clever short-term fix, but over time it backfires, creating chronic hypertension that further damages the kidneys. It becomes a vicious loop. High blood pressure hurts your kidneys and weak kidneys push your pressure even higher. According to the American Heart Association, nearly 80% of people with chronic kidney disease will eventually develop hypertension. But here's the twist. Many of them don't know it started with their kidneys. Their doctors prescribe medication after medication without asking the critical question, why is the pressure high in the first place? If your blood pressure suddenly becomes difficult to control, if you need more than one medication, or if your readings stay high, even when your lifestyle is clean, it's time to look beyond your arteries. Ask your doctor for a urine protein test and a GFR blood test. Because when your kidneys start to fail, they can no longer balance fluids or filter hormones correctly, and your blood pressure becomes the messenger, not the enemy. Sandra's story had a silver lining. Once we addressed her kidney function, adjusting her diet, Reducing sodium and adding medications that protect the kidneys, her blood pressure dropped from 170 to 125 in just a few months. The key wasn't chasing the number, it was treating the source. So if your blood pressure ever spikes without reason, don't just fight the pressure, ask what's creating it. Because sometimes the storm isn't in your heart, it's in your kidneys. But only knowing these warning signs still isn't enough. Because in the final part, I'll show you exactly how to break this cycle how to protect your kidneys, restore balance, and rebuild your energy before it's too late. Stay with me because what comes next could change everything. So let's take a moment to pull this together. Swelling in your legs, strange infections that aren't really infections, bubbly urine, that deep constant fatigue, and blood pressure that seems to rise for no reason. These aren't random problems. They're signal soft warnings from your kidneys asking for help long before pain ever shows up. The truth is, kidney disease doesn't come overnight. It builds quietly year after year, but the same way it builds, it can also be slowed, even reversed if you act early. 
Drink clean water, keep your blood pressure in check, move your body every day, and most importantly, listen to what your body's telling you. The smallest signs can save you from the biggest struggles later on. I've seen people who caught these signs early, go on to live long, energetic lives, no dialysis, no hospital visits, just a better quality of life. And that's exactly what I want for you. If this video opened your eyes or helped you understand your body better, please tap the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I share new health insights every week to help you stay one step ahead of chronic disease naturally and powerfully. And tell me in the comments, have you ever noticed any of these signs yourself? Your story might help someone else catch their warning early. Save this video, share it with someone you care about, and remember your kidneys never stop working for you. So don't stop caring for them. I'm Dr. Johnny wishing you strength balance and a long, healthy life.